Hey everybody, welcome back to my 7 Days to Die series, Surviving Alpha 18. So it is the morning of day 13, and we are up in the attic of this house. I just kind of put a few frames up over this door after they decided to, to pile in and attack me last night. There's still a couple of zombies outside. They were wandering around out here. Just on this uh, little uh, shed roof here, they fell through a few blocks, and they would just kind of walk around in circles. So I think there's one out there for sure. Maybe a second one. We're just going to kill him and then take off. Uh, I did spend some points last night. We had six skill points, so I raised intellect up one um, and bought the mini bike master, but we also opened up motorcycle maniac. Uh, so we're going to probably go straight to the motorcycle the next time we get a skill point and we're going to build a motorcycle instead of a mini bike. I think it's probably the better way to go. And then I determined, I think I want to go an agility build with this guy. So I put a couple points into agility, one more point into archery and one more point into hidden strike. And what I want to try and do is build a crossbow. So all the bow parts we get, we're going to build a crossbow with, I think. So let's get out of here. What's up, buddy? We'll be attracting your friend here. Very nice of you to drop that out oh, as a crawler over there. Now, can we carry this stuff? That's the question. Can we carry that, that, and that. Nice. We're in a shuffler over here too. I think we could probably deal with this this way. I completely missed her. Shoot! Uh, what happens every single time? I think I can deal with something. Go away. Leave. Now, I haven't been in this town yet, so we're going to take a little bit of a bike ride around on the way home today. And then we're going to hit up the trader, see if we can find uh, another good quest to do. I'm hoping there's some half-decent buildings to raid here. What do we got? Nice house. Graveyard. I haven't been in this, this this graveyard here yet. I don't know what to expect. I should probably. I have no idea what the hell happened there. Oh! Where did you come from? What the hell? Uh, let's scrap this. And scrap this. Grab the feathers. Why am I hitting my bike? I got some weird tearing there for a second. I have no idea what the heck happened. I guess it was the bird. Oh, dynamite schematic. And hey, we don't need the paper. All right, so we got this place. And a dead end road. Okay, trailer park. Trailer park zombies go around the outside. Oh, I didn't even see him. <laughs> it scared the hell out of me. Ah, happy coincidences. Looks like there's a lot of places to loot here. So we got a popping pills, another popping pills, a small shamway, and the bear den. All the lights on out front. Beautiful. What is this place? Oh, this is that car dealership or something, right? All those cabinets. Carl's Cars. Let's just see if this guy's got any mail. Oh, he does. Shotgun Messiah. 20% less shotgun degradation. Yeah, that's nice. Let's grab this cobble. Never have enough cobble. Now I know I can put stuff in the bike, but I'm one lazy ass, so I hate having to make more than one trip down to the bike. 
Although we probably should do that now that like there's like lots of places here to look up, look and see what kind of gak is they've got here. I don't think this car is not not lootable. We do have one slot left, so it's not that bad, I guess. What do we got here? Some lead. We have lead yet? We don't. Eh. So this is the Shamway building. Let's grab this iron. Iron. Metal works. What do we got here? Glass and grass. Glass and grass. What can we use? Ah, man. The thing is, I want the glass. I don't want to have to make it. Let's just drop the four lead for now. Glass is like lead and stone and sand and a whole bunch of stuff, and I just don't want to have to make it. We're going to need it when we're building our uh, main, the main part of our building. All right, let's drop this stuff back home. I mean, even if we drop nine items in the bike, it's still going to be, like, we're still going to be overloaded here. Uh, bones and rotten flesh. Ah, we're fine. Let's just keep going. I guess Mo and his other brother Mo moved on. Oh, well. I was going to say hi to them again, but I don't think they appreciate me saying hi that much. What's up? All right, let's drop this stuff off, and then we'll see if we got anything inside we can take to the trader. Gonna go to the trader today, find out what he's got. I mean, he does, uh, oh no, he did restock today. That's right, day 13. And I'm really appreciative that I put this new access here because it makes things so much easier. Ooh, have to harvest our plants here too. How are we doing with concrete? Or cement, that is. Let's craft those up. Uh, let's drop some stuff off here. So, okay, that looks like about it. Now we're gonna take all this stuff here to sell, Ooh, except for the shotgun rounds and the these guys. We can put these away. And that hammer we can put back in here for now. We don't need it right now. I made some more uh, wood spikes and barbed wire, so we have those to lay down. Uh, what else do we have here that we can get rid of? Hmm. Put a pink modifier on the AK so it looks awesome now. Uh, what are we dropping here? Hmm. I think we probably want to hold on to all this stuff. Let's put the uh, bow parts down here. Now we do need more bow parts to make a crossbow. And we're going to need to uh, work on getting stuff for the uh, motorcycle. So iron crossbow, we need eight parts to get a level three. 30 forged iron, this, is, this other stuff's no problem. Uh, we're going to need a crap ton of duct tape though. So I'm thinking if our uh, trader has got duct tape, I'm thinking we're probably going to buy a whole bunch. We need 12 for the handlebars for the motorcycle. We need another 12, I think, for the chassis for the motorcycle. So that's 24. We needed a bunch there for the... Uh, crossbow if we're going to make it so like i mean if we get 30 to 40 duct tape from the from the trader that'd be nice i think they're 50 each if i'm not mistaken so here's where i started my mind just at the edge of the desert uh there's a bunch of iron down here uh stone a bunch of stuff so i just started digging down there and then i just started digging sand up from just over this hill here where is it right there you know i always forget to bring my cowboy hat Gotta keep remembering to bring that. Alright, let's just pick this up. Kill this guy. Get to the trader. Ooh. Yeah, it's so much faster going cross country on foot than it is on the bicycle. Except for when you're sweltering, of course. Well, you're a sight for sore eyes. So my wife says too. All 
All right, what do you got? Thank you, Survivor. Compa. Family <laughs> really? Here's your reward. I'll take it. That's great. I'll, I'll have to make one now. 37 damage. Uh, yeah, we'll take that. Sure. That's bizarre. Okay. Uh, what are we? We're north of this guy. This lady. 1.6 north. Clear zombies. I've got just the tank. Modern Thank house, you. sure. I'll Let's just accept it. It's probably going to be in that town more. again that we were just in. Won't be in our town. Oh, right. One of the reasons why we're here. You restocked today, didn't you? Serrated blade we don't need. Resources. Cement, that's a possibility. What do we got? 22.9. We didn't sell any of this stuff, so let's sell it now. Not a lot to sell, but whatever. Shades. Okay, 3,200. We could buy the cement. Uh, or con well, concrete mix is way, way too much. 225 for 50. And this is 45. We can easily make that. All right, so what else do we got? Gunpowder. Uh, we have to make crossbow bolts if we're going to start using this hunt, this uh, crossbow. Bullet tips. They're cheap enough. Bullet casings. Let's just get them. All right. Food wise, nothing we really want. It's too expensive too. Uh, battery bank is one thing we need. We can come back. We don't have to get it today. Well, unless there's nothing else, then we can just go ahead and get it. So BDU bottoms. We've already got better ones. What's the heat resist? There's only seven on these. Uh, jar of honey. Structural brace. Anvil we don't need. Lucky looter volume four. Lead is the new silver in the apocalypse. Find more lead and loot. We don't really need to do that. Bicycle chassis, weighted head. That's a possibility. Steel arrows. Art of mining, volume one. Adds a chance, small chance to mine rare gems from ore. Let's take that. Yeah, man. Now, is there any clothing Safe that we travel. need for sure? Let's use this. That's nice to have. Now, clothing-wise, BDU tops, goth pants, got nine heat resist. This has got eight. Boots have got four. This jack is not really helping us, but we have it. Uh, we really need to get a duster, man. Really need to get a duster. Uh, so goofy looking. <laughs> Okay, um, I can't remember. What did you have for clothing again? Nothing. All right, well, I didn't have what you needed. That's all right. Back soon. Yeah, I'll be back. You know I'll be back. You know I'll be back. It's gonna be so much better. I never even looked. Oh, he didn't have any duct tape. I was gonna say he didn't look to see if he had duct tape, but he did not have any, or they did not have any. Trader Jen, Trader Jen. Empty. All right, put our shovel back on here. Just going this way to get back to the road. So much easier now on the roads. This guy's following me, trying to get payback. Not today, buddy. Okay, we're going to stop quickly at the house. We are going to go do this mission today. It's only 10.30 in the morning, so let's go hit up that uh, clear zombies quest. Ooh. Push up, buddy. Trying to keep my XP goggles on as much as I can, just because that extra 10% really does add up. But i got to keep remembering to put my looters on when we go looting. I should really just keep a notepad of stuff beside me. Uh, what was he doing? Oh yeah. So let's go into here. We're going to dump our bow and our arrows in here for now. And we're going to put our compound crossbow in. 
What else? Um, take out these guys. And then we can put those in there. And let's do uh, ammo weapons, stone crossbow bolts. Make 105 because we can. Drop this off. And let's, before we go, I want to make sure we harvest this stuff. There we go. Every little bit of every little bit counts in the apocalypse. Tree we can leave growing. All right, let's get our shovel back down here. Get back down to the bike and get on our merry way. We're gonna head straight to the uh, quest point and then um, slow it up. I'm interested to see how well this thing does. So I don't know if I mentioned this in one of my other episodes, but. One of the side games I play when I'm like completely zombified and I'm, I'm, uh, I can't function. It's still seven days to die, but, um, so I was out collecting resources. I was in the burnt forest and I was like next to a town and I'm sitting up these houses, just collecting stuff on the outside, right? And then uh, I hear the dogs barking and I'm like, oh, okay, it's a, it's a pack of dogs. So I, I, I crouch down behind this house and I realize they're too close. Like they've seen me, so I thought, okay, well I'll just sprint away. So I started sprinting away, and nope, apparently the dogs and bears are just as fast as you are now, because it doesn't matter how fast you sprint away from them, they're right on your heels the whole time. So I turned, and I thought, oh, there's only three dogs here this time, so I guess the other ones didn't see me, I'll just take on the three dogs. So I take on, I take on the three dogs, I kill the first one, and just as he goes down, I notice the bear is like right on us, or right on me, right? So I, uh... I start to run away from the bear, and the bear catches up to me. And I'm like, no way. So I had to throw down my motorbike, my mini bike, and get the hell out of there. Uh, it was pretty bad, I gotta say. Alright, let's park right here. I'm gonna do a little bit of preliminary loot in this place just to see if we can get anything. I think we gotta go in the back, though. I don't see our uh, waypoint here anywhere. Ooh, a tire. What are these... What have these got for us? And there's the airdrop. And of course it's going to be farther away from where we are. Alright, actually this time we're going to put stuff in the bike. Alright, now what else? We go in this way, right? That's the... There's the car in the garage, okay. We go up. Well, that's interesting. Oh, come on. So in one of my, uh, Alpha 18 playthroughs. I've got uh, a skill that makes me make no noise when I'm going over garbage. Which is like super awesome and super handy. One down. I love this crossbow because it's pretty much a one shot to the head. Once we get better ammo, it'll be even better. Can we get in here? I gotta break stuff to get in here. Let's just do it. At least we know now, too, that if we uh, can't manage with the crossbow, we could just uh, go ahead and wake up. We can go ahead and uh, flick over to the pistol and just run through this place. Okay, I'm gonna start grabbing stuff as we go here because uh, I don't want to come back and do this. What's in here? 
Nothing. I know I really should be searching the trashes too because it's a good place to find duct tape. Or gunpowder. That works too. What do we got in here? Okay, scrap this. Take the nitrate powder. Uh, let's get our wrench out. Because this, I think... I know we got forged iron from it, but I think... I thought we got forged steel too. Okay, we don't get anything from it. Whatever. Well, that was kind of a ripoff. Check the rest of this tray itch. I should learn to just keep my club out. I'm going to scrap this. We'll take it for now, but we'll probably ditch it if we get full. Got to learn to keep my club out when I'm searching stuff, just in case, because zombies will come right up on us, right? All right, that's the down. Oh, it's a split level house. Split level home. I used to live in a split level home in Winnipeg. It's kind of cool. Uh, let's just do this. It was kind of cool. I had the crawl space to myself. That sounded bad. It's like, yeah, my parents kept me in the crawl space. No, it was... Uh, my friends and I used to play war games, and we didn't have enough space anywhere else in the house except for the crawl space. Ooh, that probably goes up to where we were. Does it? It's a different attic. Alright, let's go check this place out. Yeah, so it was... Um, Oh, that's the room. That's the bathroom. Okay. Yeah, so we used to play uh, war games, and um, we didn't have any room or any walls in the house, so we did it in the uh, crawl space. Tons of space. Two bedrooms wide worth. That's yeah, somebody outside. Why they always got to interrupt when I'm doing stuff? Okay, let's check this out. Some fuel. Take that. Oh, stop. You're just embarrassing yourself now. That's a horde. That's a horde. You guys. Sure is. Come over here, guys. Come on. Let's take out their medical support first. Bonk. 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 Die. My god, you're fast. That's a lot of zombies. What's up? Oh, I missed. You need this. You're too much of a tweaker. Feel free to follow in your buddy's footsteps. Oh, shoot. That was stupid of me. Oh, you're angry. Go away. I'm taking the hits. Come on. Stamina. Stamina. You got what you deserved. <laughs> oh, I'm mad now that I... Screwed the quest up. I understand why that rule's there. Because they don't want you to go and start the quest and then leave and come back. I totally get it. But it is annoying. Ah. Uh. 
the trader's going to hate me. He's going to be like, dude, you can't even do a simple quest. And I'll be like, dude, you're right. Well, at least we found a bird nest. It's all because of wandering hordes. Ow. How did... I got grass, but not him, really. Ah. Uh. Frustrating. Well. Let's go finish it up anyway. You never know, there could be some good gack in here. I haven't been in this house before. You know what? We should. I'm going to go just, just go clear this place. Then we'll wrench the beds apart and... Hey, big mama, what's your pleasure? Try to cut me off. Can't miss when you're in a corner. One more. Oh, how did I miss that? Ow. Do you? Uh. Did I hit him instead, or did maybe Big Mama hit him? That's a possibility. Sure as hell won me. All right, where's those cheers? Somebody else outside. All right, we'll loot this after. Wake up, time to die. Yeah, this crossbow, definitely something you need to have patience with. Look at the torque on this guy. Definitely something you have to have patience with, that's for sure. Wow, this place never ends. There's a light down there, so there's got to be something else. I just kind of dread dropping down there. I have no idea what the hell's going to be down there. Okay, this we can take apart. We're going to take a bunch of stuff apart. Oh, yeah. Already got the workbench. Anything good in here? Uh, I don't like this. Bet you there's dogs. This don't look good. This don't look good. be it though. Is that concrete? Ooh. Hello there. What's up with the paper thin walls here?
Good thing they keep all this concrete in the lower bathroom. I guess they were just adding the extension to their house when the zombie apocalypse happened. I guess. I don't know. I think we go get that supply drop today, so at least I can feel like I did something important. Alright, let's loot this stuff. Alright, what do we got? Oh, this guy's locked. Let's unlock it. Fingers crossed. Big treasure, no whammies. And at least that uh, medicine cabinet in the bathroom is open, or uh, intact. Ah, damn it. We got tons of picks, I'm not worried. He says, and then can't pick it. There we go. All right, stick of dynamite, chest armor, silver, water purifier schematic. You're nothing special. Well, I knew that. Let's read this first. Kill some special infected zombies. Sure. Ooh, another wheel. Oh my god, yes. What do we got here? Banded armor. Schematic. Wow. What's this guy? Rod and spring mod. So that does what? Rate of fire for self-loading weapons and it increases recoil. I mean, I could put that on the pistol. Um, sure. It's a nice bit. Nice to have a better rate of fire, I guess. All right. Vitamins. Water. I guess that goes where? Come on, duct tape. Nothing. All right, let's go. I think this is the one that's got a sealed door to it. Yeah. All right, what are we taking out of here? Let's grab the leather. And see if we can find any food here. Okay, let's use that. We don't need to use our bacon and eggs. We won't. Can't use the beer. Uh, right. Let's use that. And hopefully we don't get uh, dysentery. Oh. Nice. Scrap that. We have a bit of room in the bike. Not much, but a bit of room. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, kitchen. Pack pack. I want that die because I want the paint. Uh, I thought I picked up... Oh, I put it in the bike. Don't really need the cloth. I, mean, I guess I could scrap the gothic boots, but they're 55. How much is this worth? 34. It's not worth it. What do we got in here? Don't need the coal. Let's just scrap that. Don't know why I'm keeping the lead. We can hit that up anytime. Don't need those. Wow, we're so slow now. And scrap. We might as well scrap these guys. Yeah, there's an asshole out here. Of course, it has to be friggin' concrete. Well, let's just go through the door then. Yeah, I ain't messing around with you, buddy.
Nice. And now I know that the uh, wheels are stackable. That's awesome too. I can put those in here. All right. So let's put what we have. You can go in there. Uh, let's put the wheel. Stuff that I'm not going to sell. Uh, not going to sell the dynamite. Uh, I know it's crazy to hang on to this, but I'm going to hang on to it. Uh, we don't need one clay. Not sure how I missed that. Okay, we're okay here. So let's head off. Oh, before we do that, let's check the uh, importance of this guy now that we've been in here. And the hovering car. This guy's got a hover car, man. Ah, let's just take him. I know we scrapped the other nails, but what do we do, right? Now, how far away is the airdrop? Not that bad, actually. Let's go get it. I'm going to ride through the snow a little bit. I just want to see how resistant to cold I am. I'm sure I'll get cold pretty quickly, but we can always dip back into the uh, green biome if we have to. There's our supply drop. Ooh, rad remover, yes! Yeah, you're angry. Alright, we're gonna ride home. It's 1900, we gotta get back. Um, but I'm gonna see if I can hit up some bird's nests. I know I just passed over one, but I'm gonna see if I can see some bird's nests on the way back. Hopefully get some eggs. Be nice if we can get some eggs. Alright, we're back. Let's go in and drop this stuff off. Come back out, unload the bike. We got a ton of shiz. I found like three, I think it was three eggs on the way back. Didn't find that many bird's nests, but we found a few. I was actually able to pick up six potatoes too on the way back, which was awesome. Let's drop these in there. Okay, so that's most of the stuff out. Let's grab these guys. Cool. I should actually make this concrete too at some point. Alright, we're running out of room for stuff here too. We got like no room for anything. So I'm going to have to reorganize everything. Two wheels. That's awesome, though. we got three now. That's all. Okay, cool. So I have to figure out how to make a motorbike. Now, we did level today, did we not? Pretty sure we did. Yeah. So we're going to take the Motorcycle Maniac. Now, we don't have anywhere near the duct tape we need, though. We don't have... we got one. How much glue do we have? I mean, we'll have to make glue. Um, I don't know. It doesn't look like we have any glue here. Maybe there is some. I can't see it, but... Looking in here, um, so the chassis needs 12 duct tape. The leather, electrical parts, mechanical parts, and forged steel is going to be the tougher part. Like, yeah, more forged steel. So 36 forged steel, correct? Yeah. We're a little bit away from that. Everything else is doable, even the duct tape. Like, I mean... 24 duct tape isn't really that bad. And then we need an engine and a car battery, which I think, if I'm not mistaken, we have. Those are relatively easy to get anyway. There's the car battery. Uh, no engine because we use it for the mixer, but finding an engine wouldn't be too much of a problem. We can put our looter, looter goggles, which I forgot to put on, but we can put our looter, looter goggles on and find it, no problem. We've got nine forged steel right now. We don't have a crucible. Um... Let's get the rest of this out. And let's get some more of this in there. Let's get that going. Okay, so... God, we got no... We got to have a... Yeah, I'm going to have to reorganize it. Actually, you know what? We've got this one over here that I haven't used for anything yet. Let's grab... All the parts. Because parts is parts, man. It's not going to give us that much more space. 
but at least it'll give us some space. Okay. And on that uh, note right there, I think we're going to end the episode here. Do got a bit of work to do. Uh, let's take this out, this out. And let's get it mixing. Now, I know I said I was going to run the horde on day 14. I don't think that's going to happen. Only because I've been, like, really, like I said, really tired lately. And I'm just not in the mood to run it. <laughs> As sad as it is to say, I want to finish building this base first, I think, and then I want to run it. It's, it's you know, maxed out, so it should be a nice, fun horde night when it does happen. Um, and it's not like we had the, like we had the killing corridor before. It was, you know, just wait for them to walk in and we kill them. This one, it'll be a lot different. So I don't know what to expect from this next uh, horde here. Um, it'll be interesting nonetheless to see what happens, but uh, yeah. So I'm going to leave the episode there, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And you can drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.